Well, today is World Disability Day and as activists and affected people from around the world face up to the fresh challenges in this sector, the numbers which have never been were never good are still not looking good at a rough estimate the world over there are around a billion disabled people now according to the united uh, states uh, and a grim reminder of the situation in india as per the 2001 census there are 22 million disabled people in india and over a billion people live with a disability the world over now 20 percent of the world's poorest people have disabilities well this is a day when we actually talk about an important issue and joining us in the studio right here on Breakfast News, Dr. Mithu Alur, the founder chairperson of Spastic Society of India and Mumbai and also the proud mother of a daughter who is going to get an award from the president today um, on her book, One Little Finger. Could you really explain what got her started and as a parent, how do you look back at bringing her up to this level? I think the uh, main thing about uh, Malini uh, is that because she is not able to move uh, fast, she is uh, quite seriously uh, uh, affected. So uh, she used to do a lot more thinking and a lot of reading and writing. And then, you know, after her uh, two masters, uh, which she got at uh, University of London, um, she did a lot more writing for her assignments and, and her thinking changed about herself. So she suddenly became very empowered, meaning she was proud to be Malini. Mm -hmm. And she was proud to be me as she ends the book. So I think that got her started a lot on thinking and reading and writing a lot more because she's really quite bound in either the wheelchair or in front of the computer. So I think that was a main motivating thing. Then. Um how difficult was it for you? In fact, it's, it's probably on a day like this that we talk about such an important issues on, you know, the milestones reached, what needs to be done, whether there has to be a focus, greater focus on inclusive education uh, infrastructure. But to really accept, uh, to have a person, a differently abled person in family, uh, to be able to sensitize neighbors, teachers, classmates, to be, it, it's, how difficult has it been? Well, to use the current word, challenging, <laughs> it's, it's been very challenging, especially uh, being in India, because one has had a chance of being uh, in England also, uh, with Malini getting educated there. And then to see the difference has been um, awfully hard, because you have to go from one issue to the other. If there are no schools, you build schools. If there's no pedagogy teacher training, you tend to do that. Then the most difficult has been the lack of convergence in the ministries. ministries. So you go to one ministry and the ministry of uh, HRD has been hugely inclusive. And then of course the ministry of social justice has uh, done a lot of work and uh, is in fact uh, awarding Malini. Uh, uh, and she's not even solicited for the award which is quite rare and um, so um, I think that the ministries um, need to converge. They need definitely to have a disability lens in every single ministry. We don't need one ministry but we certainly need departments of secretary, secretary level people there. So much more money in this sector is needed badly. For all these reasons it's been very uh, difficult here yeah, mm -hmm. to work uh, in India because you're constantly changing, having to change everything. So it's not just the training of teachers or schools, right. but seeing the huge, huge numbers. Yes. Uh, you, uh, you, you I mean, that's something I wanted to come to. Would you agree with the census number? No, no. Is it's it just far... laughable now. We've already started uh, telling them from 2005 and six. And there's an excellent book, you know, which uh, has been done by Ministry of Social Justice and Empowerment as well as the World Bank. And they have said it is something like 7 to 8 percent, which uh, s uh, makes the, uh, the number, not 22 million, which is laughable, but really 70 to 80 million people in the country just lost out there 
being treated as village idiots or just on their uh, backs uh, crawling and being made fun of. So, and uh, so this is the heart-rending thing when you really uh, go into the villages and mm. the, uh, the poorer sectors right. of the country, which I think nobody seems to go there much, you know. So, <laughs> except Mr. Gandhi. Rahul Gandhi. From 22 million to what you're saying, that's just a phenomenal yeah. gap and that we're This is a very uh, poignant uh, uh, thing because they're all uh, basically be below poverty level. Well, one final question. So, on a day like this, as I said, we probably look at somebody like Malni Chip, your daughter, who has reached far beyond where where we otherwise look at other people uh, would have reached. She, she's got a book. She's being awarded by the president this evening. But uh, where do things head from here? What should the focus? Do you think that agencies, NGOs working with uh, such people on such issues have to focus on different areas every year? The NGOs are a very fragmented group and that is so all over the world because you can't have one homogeneous group. So you've got the visually impaired, the, visually, the auditory impaired, the multiple disabled like ourselves. So that remains hugely fragmented. But I think they need to come together obviously for uh, any particular issue which okay. is uh, national. But okay. I think from my side I would say that you have to find out where the uh, population is, where right. the children are, where the youth are. And so mapping is extremely important okay. to find out where they are. Most importantly, ma mapping their needs. So just okay. to be need driven. So if you do need driven mapping, then you know at once what the budget is going to be. So effective allocation of money can take place. That is not happening at the moment. We are involved in a mapping exercise right. in uh, Bombay in the Belhar villages. So we've got about 22 villages where we've mm -hmm. mapped uh, 988 kids are out. Okay. Of, uh, and uh, Minister of HRD is putting a special fo focus, focus on it. But uh, I think that um, we need the ministries to understand, the government, that you, if you don't map the needs of uh, the people, you're not going to do effective allocation of money. Money. And so really the Planning Commission is happy because it's carrying on by NGOs, all right. the services. Right. And, and it they, has to be at the policy level. At the policy really level, so they don't really need any change. They don't want any change. Right. But uh, let's come back to this discussion. <coughs> what we have is that story, that inspiring story about Marley Chip, about her book, One Little Finger. She was born with cerebral palsy, a condition that makes body movement and speech extremely difficult. But Malini has beaten okay, all odds. She has even written a book that talks about the challenges she faced and how she overcame them. And that's not all. She's always spoken out for the rights of the differently abled and the problems they face. When I was in Xavier's, it was very difficult. I couldn't go to the library. When I was in Xavier's, it was very difficult. The live, I couldn't access the library. I think it was on the third floor. Or uh, uh, no lift. There was no lift to access. But for empowering the differently abled, attitudes need to change and awareness raised. At this seminar held in Delhi, there is no infrastructure in place for the disabled. India has an estimated 70 million differently abled people. But that number could go up once the ongoing census data is out. Perhaps an attempt to move towards a socially inclusive society Malini is talking about. It's not just my responsibility, you know, as a, as a mother or a father of a disabled child. It is, yes, my responsibility to encourage them to have the confidence that they can do something. But that needs to be supported by the community. That needs to be supported by government action in place. Until that happens, people like Malini will keep working to ensure their voices are heard. Type my name. In New Delhi with camera person Akmal Shibli, Kashish for NDTV. It's really made a difference. Well, that's the story there. And a proud mother, as we said. She, she, is, uh, she will be at uh, uh, this evening receiving the award, right, yeah, from the president? she's going to be at 6.30 okay. at Vigyan Bhavan. Okay. And she is absolutely delighted. We were there for the rehearsal. It looks so grand and 
Nothing nicer could happen to a mother. Well, what do you think she is going to say to the president? Has she discussed that with you? I, I don't think there's going to be, uh, you know, that kind of an interaction at the moment. But I think she is definitely going to say we need to fight on because she's a great fighter. Right. We we saw that attitude. Yeah. Thank you so much. And I guess that attitude also comes from how much of confidence you've installed in her, Dr. Okay. Mithu Mathur. Thank you very much thank, for joining thanks us. Thanks so much. Yeah. NDTV's Cricket app, Android and iPhone, faster scorecard, special analysis, and much more. Download free NDTV.com/apps.